Hi guys, welcome to another video and in this lesson we're going to be looking at cell organisation. Now in a unicellular organism all the chemical reactions take place inside of one cell whereas if you've got a multicellular organism they have different reactions taking place in different cells. During the development of a multicellular organism the cells need to differentiate um, so they become specialised to do a specific job. Now, you need to know the definition of the word tissue because a tissue is a group of similar cells with um, the same structure and function that work together. Now, if you take a look at this picture here, this is an example of some smooth muscle tissue. Muscle, muscle tissue contracts and relaxes so that we can move. But there's also something called glandular tissue. Glandular tissue is responsible for secreting hormones and enzymes. We also have epithelial tissue. And epithelial tissue is what covers the outside of our body and it also covers the internal organs. Now, organs are a collection of tissues. Each organ is made of around several different tissues. And the stomach is a good example of an organ. Because you can see here that in the stomach, we have the smooth muscular tissue, which helps the stomach to contract and churn the food. We also have the glandular tissue, where the hormones and enzymes are secreted from in the stomach. And the stomach will be covered or lined with epithelial tissue. Now, a whole multicellular organism is made up of different organ systems working together. How one organ functions within that system depends on the other organs within the same system. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay in touch for another video.